Up next on End of the Day Beer Review, we're going to be looking at Barrel Aged Middletown Puff by Equilibrium Brewery. This is an imperial stout with marshmallows and a blend of Madagascar, Vanatu, and Papua New Guinea vanillas. Check it out. <sighs> Three, two, one. Hi everybody, it's Rich and welcome to End of the Day Beer Review. Today, we are cracking open another barrel aged stout. Uh, you know, I was watching um, No Hype Beer Review and he was talking about this idea that maybe we should take a break from looking at the super popular barrel aged stouts and beers like the Goose Island. So I was actually going to do the Eagle Rare today. Um, not the Eagle Rare, the, um, uh, I was going to do uh, this one today, but I have decided not to. Yeah, the Angel's Envy. I'm going to save this until I do have another person here. So I'm going to put this aside for now. And instead, we're going to be looking at an offering from Equilibrium Brewery. Now, I have had consistent good luck with Equilibrium. This is their first barrel-aged stout that I'm looking at, and this is barrel-aged Middletown Puff. This is an imperial stout with marshmallow and a blend of Madagascar, uh, Vanatu, and Papua New Guinea vanillas. So this should be seriously, seriously vanilla stout. Um, and I'm looking forward to that because that is sort of what I like. Um, now, best of my knowledge, I do hate, in some respects, when they uh, seal it in the wax. I understand why. Uh, now, I picked this up, when did I get this? I think I got this about a month or two ago. So, I'm sort of excited to see what it's like. Um, it is barrel aged. I do not know what it was aged in. Uh, it just says that it was brewed and bottled at Equilibrium Brewery. Um, it does say on the side of it, scan me. Now I do happen to have my phone here. So you know what, I'm gonna take a second and I'm gonna scan this QR code, which by the way, I will put the QR code. Oh, okay, so this just leads to Equilibrium Brewery's uh, stuff. Um, Actually, it's pretty comprehensive. It leads to everything, including their events, uh, shipping beer to and outside of the state. So, you know, if you're interested in Equilibrium, I don't know if that's going to show up on camera enough where you could actually scan that QR code, but I might as well leave it there. All right. So let's put the phone aside and let's see what we have. Um, I'm getting a faintly sweet smell off the bottle. I, I don't know if there's anything else to be said about that. Uh, this one piece of wax is just sort of driving me a little bit nuts, and I don't know why, but it is. So now it's out of the way. All right, let's go with the pour. And like most of the other Equilibrium Stouts, this pour is thick, um, very thick. Uh, the legs on this are significant. It's coating the inside of the glass, almost like a syrup. Uh, not much in the way of head. It's sort of a, uh, a very light brown type of head there. Um, almost bordering on a little reddish, but what I will tell you is I'm getting a tremendous amount of vanilla. I'm getting a lot of bourbon, and I'm not even putting this up to my nose yet. The head is just starting to explode a little bit. Um, Let's see what it's like. A lot of chocolate. I'm getting some whiskey, some bourbon. A lot of vanilla. Um, in fact, I want to say it's more vanilla than it is chocolate. Uh, you know, that's a really nice nose. This is an enjoyable beer just to smell, so it should be great to drink. Um, let's give it a try. Wow, that is complex. Um, I'm getting chocolate, I'm getting a little vanilla, I'm getting a lot of the barrel. There's a lot of oakiness there, which is really nice. Um, that marshmallow sweetness that they promised is there. It's also very nice. It's sort of like drinking, texture-wise, um, a sort of thin milkshake 
Uh, it's a very thick beer, very thick beer. Um, there's some great flavor to it. It's, uh, how do I put it? Um, okay, so I'm getting a tiny bit of chocolate, uh, sort of that, that sort of stout flavor that you get from their base stout, which is very good. As it goes back on the tongue, you're getting a lot of vanilla. Now, I am not a vanilla connoisseur, so I can't tell you which type of vanilla it is, but what I can tell you is that it's very pronounced. It's there. It's really nice. It's sweet. This is by far one of the most dessert type of beers I have had. Uh, so very vanilla. Um, and right on the back of the tongue, you're getting the flavor of the barrel that it was aged in. You're getting some oak. You're getting a little bit of, I'm assuming it's a bourbon barrel that it's aged in. Um, so you know, uh, I checked it out and it turns out that they boiled up a high gravity stout and transferred it to Weller's and Blanton's barrel to let it sit for 22 months in the oak. So this is really, really solid. Um, the barrel is there. It's a, a very enjoyable type of beer. Excuse me, very enjoyable type of beer. You're getting that fudginess on the front end of your tongue. You're getting the vanilla as it goes through. In fact, it's sort of like eating a fudge cake that has sort of like a vanilla center. I don't know if that makes sense. And then it tops it all off with that sort of barrel smoky sort of flavor of the Blanton's and Weller's barrels. So this is, this is a complete win in my book. As I look at this particular stout, I, I love the thickness of it. Uh, you can see the way it clings to that glass and leaves that, the, you know, the, uh, the legs on the glass. It's about 11% ABV, I believe, but I'll check and I'll put that in the description. Uh, this is another home run, in my opinion, from Equilibrium. Um, you know, I've only had one beer from Equilibrium that really didn't do it for me, and that was the, uh, the stout that had gone bad in the, uh, in the bottle. This is just an exceptionally good beer. Now, I don't know if this is still available, but if it is, I would actually not only recommend picking it up, I would go out of my way to pick this up. This is outstanding. A good chocolatey um, flavor to it with the vanilla on the back as it goes down and a little bit of that sort of burn that I associate with the bourbon. This is uh, excellent. In fact, it's, it's got to be one of the best beers I've had from Equilibrium, which is saying a lot considering how many Equilibrium beers I've gone through on this channel. Uh, this is outstanding. So if you get a chance and you happen to be in Middletown, New York, I would stop at Equilibrium. The food there is very good. And I would get Barrel Aged Middletown Puff, which is an outstanding beer. Uh, actually, I wish I had picked up two of them because I'd love to see how this sellers. But you know what? Sometimes you enjoy it more when there's a limited amount, and this really has been a great beer. So I'm gonna sit back, and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this one. I hope you enjoyed the review, and if you did, hit that like button, subscribe, comment below, and uh, I will see you next week on End of the Day Beer Review, and I promise that next week, we will be getting to that Bourbon County Angels Envy. Um, I have it, I just, you know what it is? I really don't want to open it alone. I feel bad enough opening this particular beer by myself because it is so decadent that it really deserves to be shared. But you know what? I will have to just do what I have to do to finish this one myself, and I'm going to do that uh, as the evening progresses. You know, right now, about a quarter of the way to halfway through this bottle, and I gotta tell you, now I'm starting to taste the alcohol, feel the alcohol burn in my stomach. So, I mean, I don't know what magic they do at equilibrium but they are fantastic at packing a stout with a high abv and then not letting you feel it when you drink it initially um so like this is one of those beers that i would consider very very dangerous and quite frankly this is a beer that i would love to try over ice cream but not going to do it tonight Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the review. I will see you next time. And like I said, next week we will get to that Angel's Envy. Uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Hit that like, subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Cheers.